Well, hello, everybody. Today is January the 13th, and it's an absolutely beautiful day here in Texas. Today, I'm going to do something a little different than I usually do. The Battleship Texas update videos on my YouTube channel are by far the most popular. Therefore, I'm making this video to help anyone from outside of the area that is planning or will be coming to see the battleship while it is in dry dock in Galveston. First of all, the absolute best way to see the battleship is by doing one of the dry dock tours. I will post a link in the description of this video on how to sign up for one of those. The next best way is either by boat or driving down to Galveston Island itself. From the city of Houston, Galveston is approximately 60 miles to the south and takes about one hour to drive. On a side note, as you can see here, the battleship dry dock is not actually in Galveston. It is across the channel on what is known as Pelican Island. Once on the island, uh, the place I like to park is really close to the Graveson Strand, which is a really beautiful, nice place, a lot of history, restaurants, bars, shops, little cool places to see. And on a beautiful weather like today, it's just a nice day just to walk around. So right over here, my, what used to be, I think the peanut factory is my favorite place to park. But what not you figure, the day I'm making a video, there's people in my parking spot. So uh, yeah, normally I park right there. Uh, depending on the time of the day, sometimes it costs a dollar or two per hour. I think it's, actually it's two dollars per hour. Uh, but today we can't park there, so we may go pay at the, uh, park at the place where we have to pay. Let's go see. Yeah, so Galveston is really, really popular today. So this is the next best place to park over here. This is another pay lot. It's a, uh, I think it charges like $4 per hour if you park there. I may actually loop around because I see some open spots. The absolutely best place to park is right up here, but it's uh, a flat rate of $10 per day. And actually, just for the heck of it, I think I'm going to park there today. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Nobody is here. So I'm going to park here and pay $10. Just for all you viewers' benefit. And looky there. You can see the battleship. Maybe. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Ah. Yeah, there it is. So this is the best place to park. I'll show you some more details when I get out of my car. I, I need to pay now. Yeah, all right, yeah, it does cost ten dollars per day to park right here, but I'm gonna splurge and be a big spender today. Let's see. So yeah, for anybody that's coming to Galveston, the parking lot I'm parked in right now is directly across from Katie Seafood. Post the address in the description of the video that I'm going to make later. So the area that we're actually about to walk on is called Pier 21. It's totally open to the public. Anybody can come here. It's a good place to set your camera up, take photographs or videos. Uh, the battleship is actually much closer than it looks in the video here. But I'm still going to try to zoom in. It's not the best that an iPhone can do. See if I can be a little more steady for everybody. The mighty Battleship, Texas. Here we have the Galveston Channel, uh, the Battleship, Pier 21 where we are. If I had to guess, I would assume the Battleship is approximately 1,000 feet away across the channel. And for something else I, I rarely, rarely ever do, I'm going to appear on camera in this video. <laughs> but over here, I found a pretty cool little park bench that we can set down and launch the drone from. So this should work out really well. All right. <laughs> I'm going to be famous.
So this is my bird that makes all the videos. It is a DTI Mavic 3. And fire in the hole. The drone is just now approaching the limit of my line of sight visibility, but this is what it is seen of the battleship. Typically when I film the battleship, I'm in a boat so I can get much closer, but this is about as close as I can get today and still be able to see the drone, so we're not going to get much closer. Alright, I'll go ahead and hit the record button, so I'll post this actual footage along with this video here. Right now the drone is recording. I'm trying to fly with one hand, so we'll just do a little circle shot, and then we'll come on back home. And back away. Alright. That's about all we're going to do for today. So I've hit the go home function and the drone will now return back all by itself. So I'm going to film, film the drone coming back and landing. And it is 1,500 feet away at the moment. But it is over there coming back at a high rate of speed. Because downwind it is going 45 miles per hour. see it because it's 133 feet in the air. I lost track of it. Let's see. It is now 200 feet away. I hear it, but I do not see it. And how cool is that? Exactly where it took off from. It is now automatically returned. If you do drive down to the battleship, there are other things to do really nearby. This right here is where the dolphin tour boat takes off from. And if you look, just across the water here, that's the tall ship Alyssa. It's a museum that you're allowed to board. Pretty neat little tour. Oh man, we got the Popo and ambulance over here. I wonder what's going on. I'm gonna be nosy. So this is not typically the kind of video. All right, shoot, this is hard. So this is definitely not the typical kind of video that I do. Definitely outside of my comfort zone. Let me know what you think. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Or if you want me to stick strictly to my artificial voice that I've been putting on all the videos, that's okay too. I'm just curious. This is something totally different. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do one more pan shot at Galveston and then uh, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching if you made it this long, but I doubt it. That's a lot of crap. switch the camera around and I can't do it. It's so one last pan shot of Galveston. Uh, there's one Moody Plaza, the National Bank building or insurance, I'm not sure exactly. That's the historic strand over there. Seafood restaurants. There's Pier 21. A lot of laid up offshore semi-submersible submersible kind of rigs for Battleship of Texas. My little red car and uh, Katie Seafood. So while parked in the car, I can see the battleship across the Galveston Channel. That's Pier 21. Harbor House Hotel, if you're trying to use Google Maps to find this location. Uh, another pay parking lot, the historic strand, and the big tall building is a good landmark to get to here. It's called One Moody Plaza. Peace out.